at all of the theories and techniques behind how to be more creative, what you'll see is that there's one overriding theme. And I think if you can understand that theme, it makes it a lot easier to understand how to utilize creativity techniques and skills. And the overriding theme is all of the techniques are trying to have you do just one thing, and that's to think more flexibly. And I like this term, thinking flexibly, because it doesn't, it doesn't push you to think differently necessarily. It, it keeps you rooted in what your expertise is and your skill set is, but it gets you to think about the fact that you need to think in a lot of different ways and that you need to be more flexible with how you approach problems. So if you look at techniques such as brainstorming, analogies, we do a lot of work with a uh, technique called synectics. All of these are basically just trying to get you to reframe or look at your problems or your companies or your products from a different perspective. And no one of those specific techniques is actually the best. All of them are, are sort, of like, sort of like weight loss. You know? you know you need to eat less and you know you need to exercise more. But what exercises do you do? If you go to a gym or a trainer, they're going to have hundreds of different exercises that you could do. Creativity is the same way. Just like in the gym, it really doesn't matter which exercise you do. What you need to do is get on the treadmill, get in the gym, burn off those calories. And so for creativity, to start thinking flexibly, you just need to pick up one or two techniques and start working with those. And once you have those, pick up a few more techniques.